welcome back ladies and gents, Pimpy P back at you once again, thank you so much for joining me, and this is episode 2 of my Cyberpunk Let's Play. Uh, now before we get started, um, if you're on the PC or the next gen Master Race, don't worry about this, this is strictly for the uh, last gen peasants like myself here. Uh, if you're playing on the last gen console, uh, I've been playing around on my main account and I've noticed something interesting. What you want to do is go into your settings, and under graphics, you want to turn off all these nonsense extra stuffs. They are not necessary and uh, the game looks way better without it. So uh, yeah, a little tip from me to you. Without any further ado, let's continue with the game, shall we? Hey, baby. What's up? Hey, yo, hey me. V. Regina Jones here. Around, if you're you? looking for work in Watson, what give me say? a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal, and a true mind tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Okay, okay, okay. What you got, motherfucker? Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, is that it? That's it. I can arrange a fighter. What do you say? You mentioned something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very loot. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Oh, I get it. You want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, you gotta make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different parts of the city. Choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start, you can move. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Hey, listen. But it's not about how much hits you can take. It's about how many times you can get hit. Keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Ooh. My oh my, look at him. So handsome. What the? Can I collect that? Give me that thing. Nature comes first. From the very first stages of food production, we bring you bot and new quality that even Mother Nature can. An awesome name for it. That's all. It's daddy. Purrs after every shot now. What you got? What you got for me, homie? Uh. Can't afford anything. What's this? Is this free? Oh, hell yeah! Oh, we got a knife, too. Uh. Let's see. Can I sell some stuff? Sell the stuff I don't. Uh, sell junk. Yeah, let's do that. 
Oh, shit, was that a Katana fan? Uh, what I mean by Katana fan is, you know, from Mortal Kombat. Uh, let's see. Is this all my inventory? Uh, I don't need this many pistols. I'm gonna sell these. Which one's better? It's the one he just gave me. Uh, okay, it's better, so I'm gonna sell that. And that should do it. Uh, upgrade kind of You just receive an iconic item along with a set of crafting spell. Yeah, I'll be about this one. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and equip it. Any sights for it? I don't have any upgrades. Okay, let's go ahead and equip the thing. There we go. Nice. Do I have any clothing? Oh, shoulder strap. Yeah, let's put that on. Yeah, give us armor. Nice. Uh, I don't like that hat. Alright, that should do it. Come on. Spit it out. has occurred as a result. Inhabitants of the South Pole are still enjoying life. It's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exclusive multi-story Dashi Throats. I haven't played too much of this game yet, but uh, of the stuff I did play, it's, uh, I'm liking it so far. Pretty good. Pretty good. in the no tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And, in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has a national participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WWE... Alright, let's go meet up with Jackie! Hey, what's up? What up, officer? Oh, look at that texture pop in. What the... Uh... Okay. It's a tutorial. Should probably turn it off. Jeez, took you long enough. Looked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Is that a snake up her snatch? Alright, cool. Didn't figure you was a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Synth sirloin? Check. It's some more Chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Wells' signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but. Just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow, Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Eyes up to his elbows in blood, Jack. You want to shake his hand? Work with him? It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it. You move on. So what's the gate? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. 
All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a big old man. Oh, really? No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling. Saying you'll be up to your Dinettis. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty too for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, Dios. Where you know? Brunch your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top notch work, Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Oh boy, am I gonna have to drive? It's probably not a good idea. Alright, let's test that boy out. Ripper up and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. Whoa, 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 what's the I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. I don't know if my controller's fucking up or the say. driving's way too She's sensitive, so but sweet. Really gets me, you know. Feels a little weird. I need some time to get used to it. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. We're having a party over there? Ooh, gunshots. But you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather, hey, hey, baby. only to you. Oh, is this one of those the end is night guys? Ooh, bonsai tree. Oh, yeah? Yes, I'm easily distracted. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. You look pleased. Cause I am. Always. Makes for easier living. Is this kind of stealing? But we got a new Fuck it, I'll take it. Mine now. Hey, if it doesn't count as steal, I'm taking everything I can. Dangerous? Don't you worry. I don't even know what I just picked up. I just like loot and shit. Ooh, kitty! Can I pet it? Oh, yes, I can! Very nice! Yeah, it's a uh, Dr. Evil's cat. Mr. Bigglesworth. Alright, I'm just checking out the surroundings. Uh, let's go see the Rip Duck. Is he, is he ripped? Uh, the way common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure which can only be performed by qualified specialist Ripper Docs. Uh, there are several Ripper Docs operating throughout Night City who, after a variety of different cyberware offers. Okay. Select your desired cybernet upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Vicky, surprise every old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But, something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. 
He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Me tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Uh, cyberware, uh, cybernetic implants are a mechanical replacement for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat abilities, uh, capabilities, and help you survive the in hazardous conditions. Although common practice in 2077, the installation of cyberware is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous uh, medical procedure. Only specialist was Did I just read this? I guess I just read something similar about this. Alright, what do you got for me, Doc? Ocular Rift System. Uh, Alright, it's only one available. Uh, several where you acquire in the world can be installed or sold at any rip. Oh, you could find these throughout the world. Or just rip them out of people's eye sockets, I suppose. Uh, wait, what? Base RAM, buffer size. Yeah, that's a lot of information. Eh, I go with the purple ones better, right? I don't have enough street cred. Oh well. Uh, ballistic core processor. What does that do? Increase the chance of ricochet shots. Blah blah blah. Right, let's, let's do it. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. Now just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. That major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. 
see the magic in action, linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Uh, scanning people. Scanning people with your optic cyberware can provide you with a list of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who's in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. For the scanner. Okay. Oh, that is cool. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. First time's really the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Uh, database of the person. Database of individual with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted person with the sc your scanner. Since all are wanted that are alive, the methods you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you. All right, I could be a fucking bounty hunter. Nice. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Guard up, you idiot. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull line. Absorb 75% of every blow. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... Chakra looks a little out of whack. For a second, I thought they were I doing something inappropriate. For you, but you <laughs> have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. It's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. 
Uh, capacity enemy either various ways and capacity enemy without killing them. Non lethal takedown, non lethal quick hacks, non lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non lethal. If a weapon, combat gadget, or a quick hack deals non lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Nice. Uh, are there boobies in here? I wanna, I wanna check this out. What up, little man? Let me in, please. Let me in! I wanna see boobs! What's your problem? Is this how you operate your business? You can get fired. Ooh. Um. What am I looking at here? Uh, is that what I think it is? Yeah, look at this texture pop. It's terrible. Yeah? What's new in the world of squatters, whores, and lack of opportunity? Got this crazy new ability. He can talk without moving his lips. What's his icon next to him? Oh, is he my target? Or is he a target? Uh, no, he's part of NCPD. No. Oh, that's probably the skull icon. Is probably means he's too high level for me. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I'll come back when I level up, alright? Hey, officers. You got a, you got a crime scene going on? Get out of my sight! Fuck you! I'll step all over your crime scene, motherfucker. Yeah, deal with that. Jerks. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First is a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. 
Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang mate one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shit from one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave drive. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop, then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Stick up her ass, huh? I'm gonna stick something else up her ass. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Well, certainly a lot of texture poppins, but I mean, what can you expect from a uh, console that released outdated? <laughs> One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Can it can it be quiet blaze? Later now. Uh, street cred. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the night city and the world. Doing so will open up new vaginas. Once you get the money, then you get the respect. Fast travel. Fast yes, travel around the city allows you to... Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nun. Come to want to check our pro cred. To me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> You don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Just the ground. That's not a way go. Alright. Oh, this is Chinatown? The badass looking building. Alright, 
Where am I supposed to go? 450 meters? Where my car? Is that, is that my ride? Is that coming towards me? It's going further away. Oh, there it is. That's pretty sweet. Oh, shit, I got on the wrong side. Oh, excuse me. Oop, oh, move violation. I don't care. I'm more important. How do I... Yeah, I can't really see that well. Oh, let me change the camera. Let me change the camera. Uh, right D-pad? It's not changing camera. What's going on? It's not switching cameras. It... Oh, there we go. What the fuck's going on? There we go. Well, that's a little buggy, ain't it? Alright, this is much better. Oops, excuse me. Coming through. Let's park my car here. Why is... What's going on? I'm trigger full blast. My car is like going one mile an hour. Ah, oh, whatever. Did I just run out of gas? Oh, fuck it. We're closed right now. Uh, but I I need to go in. Go to Lizzie's bar between six p.m. and six a.m. What time is it? It is 3.30. Damn, I got three more hours to kill. What do I gotta do in the meantime? Talk to some homeless person? I had to sit here for three hours? Can I skip time? Oh yeah, I can. Skip time. Uh, three hours. There we go. Oh, that was fast. I don't have to smoke a cigar or anything. Uh, what's this? Uh, first will come the great reality check which users. What's that supposed to mean? Did I just get spam mail? Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys, or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. We really know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. What? Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog. Ask for a BD and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. Don't worry, Gato. Mrs. Robato. Hello. My, what a sweet little face you have. Thank you. Is that a compliment or an insult? I can't tell. Grabbing all the shit. I'll look at it later. Hey, get you something. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, 
Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Hey, baby. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Stupid. Am I gonna get sexed? So, what can a horn girl like you? Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Oh, what's that? Boopies? Oh, she's got pasties. That doesn't count. She gonna... Um... Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Huh. Curious. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. I'll the decors to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. 
think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. Would you like no. anything How else? Much? It can be a very know. useful tool. That. Good for analyzing details, human perception, oh, I'm even boosting. You? Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. I always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Oh, shit. I don't have enough for that. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right oh. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Alright. Kinda reminds me of Tiffa. Must be the tank top. Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Mm hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. I'm gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Bucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds want to grocery lists. Spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now, let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? 
So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody, on the ground, what I see you kissing the flooring, money, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God, whoa, yeah, hey, uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off. Damn. That was too much. Felt... I feel the guy's pain, his dress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Damn, Judy's pretty hot. I'm gonna stick my chip in her socket. <laughs> I'll sever the link to the BD Radio's sensory array. Uh, You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Cream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. This is really fuzzy. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Uh. Plan simple. This supposed to be this fuzzy. She's hurting my ass. Hurt my ass. We sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, right here. Uh okay. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay. Fuck! On you ah, go. little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? <laughs> so, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Well, this is pretty cool. Not crazy though, but 
pretty cool. Don't be stuck. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks? Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and Serpent. Everybody! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. The ground! What a sheer kiss in the floor! My Scanning works on peeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Well, yeah, no, fuck, fuck. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, that's fucked up. I shot by his own homie. Well, probably just a simple man trying to make his way in Night City. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll die. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my requests... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Alright, B. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... F Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please. 
please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. What the? Stuck in some fossilized the hell? of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. Enough. Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. What am I looking for? Oh, in the beginning. Terminator over here. Uh, what am I supposed to look for? Alarm firmware is fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling through this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Last 20 years. wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me? Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got any candy left? Step. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. It was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. <laughs> Manual details a special tip control container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Wait, I wanna scan this first. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Uh, see what am I looking for here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't show that on YouTube. Go back, go back, go back! 
Conditioning standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. All right, here we go. It's here somewhere. Geez. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Such... <laughs> Gotta be a fridge in here somewhere, right? Oh. Think I found it. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. What? If it's not in the fridge, then where the fuck could it be? In this anus? You put in this anus? Is that a lizard? It's a lizard. Robot lizard. What the fuck is this? Oh. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here, guaranteed. The mm -hmm. hell is that? Got it. Put it in the works. floor. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Must be a secret compartment. All right, I guess that's it. You no, know, this shit's hurting my ass. Why can't it be like this? And when you're in the editing mode, it's blurry as fuck. Well, I guess that's intentional. Oh well. It's pretty cool though. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash and your data. You were never here. Put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Thank you, Judy. Can I interact with her? <laughs> Thanks, Judy. Really. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Yoink. V, one sec. Let's walk. Well? What do you think? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. 
and useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. Mm, you know what they say about people fight too close to the sun, though. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Can I have a few words with Judy, too? Alright, money hints tempting. I guess we'll see. Uh, what's the time? Yeah, uh, things looking, I said Mr. I'd come to you. I didn't. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T Bug says no chance of that chip without that bot. To work then, Mr. V. Alright, that's gonna be it for episode 2. Uh, this was a little bit longer, it's more story driven, so I didn't want to chop it up into 2 3 videos, you know? So, um, uh, future episode will probably be a little shorter. Alright, thank you so much for joining me once again. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the. or questions or requests, rather. Leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to oblige. And as always, until next time, you guys take care, and I'll catch you on the flip side.